everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you my latest album, which is not so many. It is eight and a quarter inches tall by 11 inches. So this is the widest album to date that I've made. So again, that's eight and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. I said 11 first. And that's the outside. It's two and a half inches wide. And then uh, my pocket pages are eight by 11, eight by 11. Okay, so this is um, cut apart from the um, DCE collection pack, and you can see I've got these large triangles. These were just hand cut. Um, there is a page of stamps, and I did this together with you guys when I was decorating the cover. What I didn't do with you guys is this. So these tags were made just using, you know, just a simple rectangle and then notching off the two corners. So I did two of those. This one's in a solid solid pattern and I did two patterns here. This is just a hand cut uh, fishtail ribbon, a ch piece of chipboard, chipboard, chipboard. And then these um, circular elements are just made with a one inch punch and a one and a quarter. And here's another one right here. So these are the details that I've added since we were together. <clears throat> Here I added a sticker and it's open. Um, it's supposed to be like that. It's open so that you could slip a photo behind it if you want. Here I've got this five by seven card. So this will house a four by six photo or five by seven. You can also put a small three by um, four photo here. This opens up to the left. It's a nice place for another large photo. Here are some other hand cut tags that I added with some circles and I did this with you during the tutorial. I've got a four by six um, photo mat here or card. I added this sticker. Okay, so that's page one. Inside each large pocket page are these large photo mats. Uh, so I've covered both sides and then I used a stamp as the tab to pull it out. Okay, page two, another five by seven card. And this is a four by six and I just inserted it so you could see if you put a four by six photo, you still wind up with a very nice border all the way around it. This is a cutout frame. And then these are two small pockets. And this also will support um, a small three by three photo. Again, on this side, I added these two elements so you can see a four by six will fit here nicely. Okay, and then again, this is the five by seven card and then I added these elements to either hold down um, your photo or just to have as further embellishment. Okay, this is page three. I added this piece of chipboard. Okay, nice five by seven. In here is a four by six. And over here we have lots of photo space room and then I've got this frame. Okay, and these are just cut apart from the collections. Again, another lo nice large double-sided photo mat. Okay, this is page four. I've got a nice insert frame. This is um, also a frame, and this is five by seven. This is a decorative element cut from one of the collection pages. I've added a piece of chipboard. This is just a decorative mat right there. So we've got a four by six and a five by seven. And this could be, uh, you could have a photo here or you can just leave it as a decorative piece. Page five, two, I added two stamps that I fussy cut. This is a four by four photo mat and this is fussy cut from the collection pack. So here's my four by six. So you could put a four by six here, this way or this way. This is a five by seven card with photo space. Um, uh, both on the top and bottom, as well as 
in the closed position. This is a small journaling card. And again, a nice, very large photo mat covered on both sides. And this is page, I thought these frames were really fun. This is page six and seven. So I made these five by seven frames and they have a four by six cutout and I just did these manually. And I tucked in um, a journaling card just so you know there's space for a photo here on both sides. It opens. We have tons of photo space here. You could easily put a five by seven. And this is just wide open uh, for anything as large as, you know, well, it's eight inches tall, so you'd want to stay just under that. Five by sevens or a number of four by fours, four by six. So you got a lot of room for photos here. And like I said, this is four by six, so you can see you've got plenty of space. Okay. You could even do two three by threes here. Okay, another large um, space for photos over here, over here. This would be two uh, four by sixes, so it easily fits. And here's page eight. Nice five by seven card, and the magnet was very sticky. And four by six. Okay, and a ton of photo space in between. So this is the album for Couture. So one of the reason, and there's the back, sorry, and there's the spine. One of the reasons I went with these um, triangles and the, and the diagonal cut is it very much reminded me of Art Deco, which the collection reminds me of Art Deco, the way the women are dressed. So that was the inspiration for this album. I wanna share with you, I'm gonna pull these back in. So we've got, I left one of them in the book, a total of four, very large photo mats, as well as photo space inside the album. What I had left over after two DCEs, 12 by 12 DCEs and one eight by eight pack, is one single sheet of the 12 by 12 that I have not cut into. And three, four, five, six, eight by eights that I have not cut into. And then I have this bag of goodies here. <coughs> so there's a couple of large pieces, not many. So that's what you're going to have left over. You probably could get away with just two DCEs, um, but you'd have to, you would not be able to cover the photo mats and you'd have to really economize and make sure as you're cutting through some of your paper that you're leaving large enough pieces. So again, I have leftovers, um, but I would say by and large, they're of this size. So they're pretty small. You know, you'd have to do a lot of color blocking to cover an eight by 11 uh, pocket page. So that's it for Couture. I hope you guys enjoyed. My next album coming up is gonna be Sonora. And um, I started working on that today, so it won't be too long. Thanks everybody for tuning in and sharing time with us here at Scrap and Create. I'd love to hear your comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and take a minute to come visit us in our shop over at Scrap and Create. Thanks again. See you soon.